Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. And let's get started. Let's get right into it and see what the energies and messages are for Sagittarius. So what you want from this relationship is the Nine of Cups, which is you want your wish or your dream to come true. This is a card of being fulfilled and of feeling contentment and enjoying what life has to offer and uh, the abundance that you that you have built and created. So you're looking for a relationship that is abundant, perhaps spiritually, uh, materially, uh, emotionally. So you want the dream relationship, you want this relationship to fulfill your idea of the dream relationship. So the next card is what you need. And what you need is often a little different than what you want. So what you need in this relationship, we see it's the judgment card. And the judgment card is often an awakening, a rebirth, a chance for you to look back at what's been going on. And so maybe this is a indication that uh, what you need to do is you need to look back at your past relationships, or perhaps you need to look back at your past actions and how do they affect this relationship. There's a sense of uh, second chances here. So if there's been some behaviors or some things that have impacted this relationship, the judgment card comes in to say, you know, it's never too late to take a second look. It's never too late to look at your own actions to see what's going on. What could I do perhaps to change the future? What can I do to improve? So what you're feeling with respect to this relationship is, is the Five of Cups. So this is a sense of um, feeling that uh, you're not quite getting support what you, of what you need. You may feel a sense of sadness. You're feeling perhaps that uh, something is slipping away. In this illustration, the person here is focused on what has spilled and not at the full cups behind him or her. And, you know, this is a, it's a mindset that you have to think about what you do have. And so if you're thinking about this rel relationship and perhaps instead of thinking about what is missing or what has changed uh, or what you can't get back, perhaps you should focus on what you do have and the good things about this relationship you know, the Five of Cups, it's about, often it's about grief or loss. This card could also be saying that you're having a hard time getting over some hurt uh, that has happened to you. And it impacts, or it's at least impacting your feelings within this relationship. So this card is how you feel about your person here. So it's the Seven of Pentacles. Let's see if we can get that to focus. There we go. So the Seven of Pentacles is about patience and taking the time uh, to nurture whatever goal that you have within this relationship. How you see this person is that they're going to take their time to try to build something. They are going to be uh, waiting for the right moment, perhaps, to make this relationship develop more, more emotionally stronger or to do something that is um, uh, going to bring a great reward. Really, the Seven of Pentacles is that you take a time out, you assess what's going on, you're assessing what's working. But from your perspective, in looking at your partner here with the Seven of Pentacles, you see someone who is willing to put in the time, the resources, the energy, and the thinking required to, in order to um, build this nice relationship or to maintain this nice relationship. So I'm going to hold these for now. So now we look at your other half. We look from your partner's perspective. So what they want is they want 
they want this opportunity for love. This is the Knight of Cups. It's almost like offering the Holy Grail. So what they also want is this romantic, loving, um, sensitive and tender relationship. This is a water sign perhaps, but what they want is they want a loving, sweet, sensitive, giving and receiving type of relationship with the Knight of Cups. What they need, what they need is they need to perhaps keep away from conflict and they're not looking for conflict in a relationship. Perhaps conflict has been an issue or uh, some ego driven, ego driven discussions, arguments, but uh, what they need is they need to have perhaps um, uh, getting away from conflict within a relationship the arguments, the pettiness. So here they're hoping, hoping and wanting for a loving relationship, sensitive, kind, giving, emotionally there. What they need is they need to have less conflict, less ego. What they're feeling is they're feeling a lot of positivity toward this relationship. They're feeling that this relationship can lead to happiness and fulfillment and abundance. This is uh, high energy. This is being feeling radiant, feeling vibrant. And so within this relationship, how they feel, they feel pretty good. This is a relationship to them that has, um, that has longevity and has potential to have a long-term committed relationship. This is a card of great positivity and uh, again, happiness. This is like finding happiness. So they're feeling happy. And then how they see you is they see you again. They see you as fun, loving, someone who is grateful for relationships. Let's see if I can get this in focus. Okay. And, uh, they see, social times, they see good times, they see someone who's a companion where you're going to do, be doing things together, where you're going to enjoy spending time together. So how they see you is someone really quite loving, social, probably very friendly. So before I get to the middle part, let me just recap here for, for what you want. You want a relationship that is the dream relationship, contentment, abundance, fulfilled, feeling fulfillment, uh, having what you want and desire. What you need is perhaps you need time to reflect on past actions, present actions that will help guide you within this relationship. Again, reawakening, rebirth, you know, there's always a chance to evolve and to change. What you're feeling, you're feeling perhaps some sense of hurt or loss. Um, a mindset where you're thinking about what you don't have instead of what you do have. So that's something to be aware of. And how you see your mate is the seven of pentacles, which is this card of, of um, uh, you see them as someone who's going to put in the time, the effort, the resources to cultivate and to nurture this relationship. Your partner wants a romantic, sensitive, love relationship. They want giving, receiving, and romance. They need, perhaps, to try to balance the sense of conflict or ego of petty arguments, is that to, to keep it to a minimum, perhaps. How they're feeling is that they're really feeling uh, happy. They feel vibrant and radiant with you and in a place of uh, all good things, carefreeness, wonder. I mean, this is good health. It's really a lovely card. And then how they see you again, it's um, social. They see you as friendly, someone who, who to have fun with, 
partner where you can have an enjoyable time with. And that's really important in relationships is to have someone who uh, enjoys uh, going out and spending time together. So what's in the middle here is uh, this is the forces. And so this is, uh, these are situations or events that draw you together or pull you apart. And I'm also going to choose an Oracle card for this. Let me just go ahead and shuffle these. So let's get this first one. This first one is temperance. And temperance is, let me get that in focus. Temperance is about moderation. So this relationship has got to focus on um, doing things uh, perhaps uh, that are beneficial to you in health, in how you treat each other. It's not to go to extremes. So within this relationship, you have to be mindful perhaps of boundaries and of taking care of yourselves, not overdoing it, and maybe creating some healing space too within a relationship. Temperance is a card where we're trying to really go with the flow. We're trying to balance the harmony, uh, bring harmony of all the elements within our life. And so this could be really uh, symbolic of this relationship as you're trying to make everything work for, for this relationship. You're trying to make it all come together. Let's get this card here, and this is the Fool. So the Fool is a card of a leap of faith, of new, a new journey, a new path, but feeling the wonder of it all, the excitement of it all. So within the forces that pull you together or may pull you apart, is the sense that, that you're going to have to pay attention to being moderate within this relationship, not going to extremes. And you are going to have to appreciate that this might be a new journey. You may be feeling that you're going to try to create this new path together. If you're in a current, if you're in a solid relationship or marriage, this could be bringing in a newness to your, how you view each other. It could be this uh, trying to bring in new activities that make you feel like, like you just met each other, like you just found each other and that excitement. So there's a lot of excitement with the fool because you're starting something new. So let's get a sense of this Oracle card and this is beginnings. So again, beginnings. If we look at this spread, we have a sense of, yes, there are some things that have to be worked on in March, of getting past hurt or a mindset of, of what you don't have, some thinking about yourself. Uh, you appreciate that your mate is going to be hardworking and is going to be uh, able to nurture this relationship, but here there's a sense of of um, some a newness or a new beginning, and maybe it's this going to the romantic part with the nine of cups. But really, these are lovely cards with the sun, with the nine of cups, a dream relationship, with temperance, also the three of cups. So a very nice month for March. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push these to the side and I'm going to do a, an extended forecast for the next three months. Okay, I'm going to use a different deck. Let's see if I can shuffle these.
Okay, so for April, April we have the Emperor. And the Emperor is a card of um, someone who is structured, someone who is uh, organized and rules fairly. So this could also suggest um, an adult, uh, a male figure, or someone who has these qualities of, of um, being fair, someone good in, in making decisions. You may need to consult, you may have uh, family, things going on in April. But the emperor is someone who is uh, just pretty structured and pretty much by the rules, playing by the rules, so some things coming up that way. Your card for April is willpower. So to have willpower, it's to have the discipline and the foresight to work on a relationship and to uh, uh, focus on the things that are going to benefit your relationship. For May, we have the Four of Swords. And so the Four of Swords is a sense of needing to take a break and maybe getting some time to recover, to rest, to relax, to restore yourself, to restore the relationship. So, you know, there's an underlying message here of don't, uh, don't wear yourself out with social commitments or things, you know, pace yourself, find some downtime, create some downtime in May. And, uh, I am, I am presence. I am presence. Well, I would say I am presence is to be mindful of your presence and to be, oh, to be, uh, not rushing ahead. Focus on the here and now within May. Focus on what's going on within your life. How you can, again, it's back to the temperance card of finding the balance for this relationship. And so for June, we have the tower. So in June, there may be something that causes distress, that causes a little shakeup. Tower could be an event that is going to cause something to fall apart so that you can rebuild. So one never knows with the tower. I mean, I, I'm just saying that there's something that's going to uh, shake things up in June, April, May, June. Let's see what this card tells us. Integrity. Perhaps there's an issue of trust, loyalty. Uh, how someone treats you. This signals that there's, there's going to be some change. Something's got to change in June. And it may perhaps it's going to relate to integrity. So I hope that you found this reading helpful for March. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. That would be great. And I hope that I see you again for another monthly relationship reading. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.